I have no interest in convincing you of my abilities. I'm too old and impatient to trot out my resume. You get no reference letters. Those who could honestly assess my work are either dead or in jail. Those I let be for personal reasons, and the client be damned, there are no refunds in this business, never know anything more than that a small-boned, pleasant woman has passed through the periphery of their life. Two icons frame the reference for women in our society who flirt with the dark side, Nancy Drew and Miss Marple. That's how I like it. Harmless, perky, dear. You can hide a world of sins behind that facade. No, I'm not a private investigator. I'm not an FBI agent or a police officer or forensic anything. I have no interest in the law, only in justice. And justice is what I deem it to be. She who pulls the trigger gets to choose. When you're judge, jury, and executioner, a woman's got a right to demand a few perks. This is all off the record. I will take you along so you will know. I hope understand. Whether you forgive me or not is up to you. But should a whiff of any of this show up in the pages of your newspaper, I will silence you. Count on it. Maybe someday I'll tell you about my first job. For now, my second job. My second job was Leona Doherty's mother. You remember Miss D Doherty? You had her in second grade. <laughs> Mousy hair, big bust, you got it. That, Miss Doherty. There was a dance recital for the little kids. If I recall, you were all bow peeps and doing considerable damage to one another with your crooks. What a lunatic gave six and seven year olds crooks, for heaven's sake. Anyway. I slipped out about two hours into the thing. I'm sorry, but it went on for three and a half hours going through all the classes. I was there for you. Okay. I was there for you that time. We're not here to discuss my shortcomings as a mother. Hallways of schools at night are strange spaces. About half the lights were burnt out. I suppose since the school was never open after three or four o'clock in the afternoon, Nobody bothered to check them for a few years. I let myself out of the auditorium, escorted, I must say, by a filthy look from Laura Seymour's mom. What a bitch. Night hallways and institutional structures are all pretty much the same. For some reason, the perspective gets skewed by shadows or ghosts from dark days, and after sundown they grow longer seem almost to come to a pinpoint in the distance, doors and lockers and whatever else growing smaller in the fog. Yeah, fog. That night I thought it was chalk dust, mold, condensation. It was hot and rainy. Since then, I have seen that fog in many of its permutations. The fluorescent glare of empty hospital corridors the shadow-filled warmth of work lights down tunnels and mines, the nappy beige indifference of carpeted hotel corridors. Once you see it, you always see it, probably even when it's not there. I dressed up for the recital in a dress and high heels. <laughs> Hard to imagine, isn't it? I used to wear high heels in those days. I still do occasionally, when the job requires it. Walking to the girls' bathroom, those heels clacked in a staccato tattoo that was the essence of loneliness, of isolation. Every woman has heard that particular cantata. It puts a shiver in your bones, reminds you that in a world of predators and prey, you probably don't stand a chance. By the time I reached where the hall made a T intersection and had to leave the comforting side of the auditorium doors behind, I was spooked. Nerves always make me have to pee. That, on top of the coffee and intermission, gave me the impetus to go on. That's all. That's all I have.